Uh, hey guys, so today we're going to continue on with our adventure into the Pathfinder tool and the various um, ways that you can use these to create increasingly complex shapes using simpler shapes. So let's go ahead and create a new file and I'm going to stick with my trusty old uh, 1920 by 1080 canvas here. I'll go ahead and press create. And this will just be a, we'll make three little badges here. So we talked yesterday about the idea of badges being a good marketing tool. They're also a real good way of um, creating a sort of a dynamic look to your navigation thing. So we're going to create three little buttons. Um, we'll say little links to different navigations. So let's say we're some sort of marketing firm and we're trying to explain that we want to give them the options of doing outreach and uh, doing a variety of different things here. So um, we're going to start off by creating our sort of base for our um a badge so we're going to create a little circle here i'm going to make it dark blue because it's just you know how i roll and uh what we'll do here is we'll uh, create the same little thing we'll have like a thin line on one side then we'll have a little gap then we'll have our circle on the inside and then from there we'll uh, create a little stamp here so uh, let's go ahead and go to object go to path go to offset path and in this case my um, circle is about 600 pixels wide and so i'm going to outset this by say for instance negative 30 pixels. Let's see, it's hard to see by virtue of the fact that it's blue and my paths are blue. So I'm gonna go here to my layers and I'm gonna just click on this. I'll actually double click on this layer and I'll bring up the little layer options menu and I'll change this to say for instance, orange and that should show up a bit better. Let's try this now. Okay, all right, here we go. Once again, object. Uh, path, offset path, and then we'll say negative 30, and we'll preview that. Yeah, I'll say make it negative 15 or so. Negative 15. There you go, that's good. And uh, we'll do this one more time. We'll go to object, path, offset path, and this time we'll do negative 30. Uh, or maybe we'll just do negative 20. It's a bit too much. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, we'll press OK. And from here, we could just uh, stamp this out. Cool, using our exclude. All right, so that's good. So we have this uh, little gap here. Uh, I'm going to put this to the side for now, and we'll bring this back for our various little designs. So I'm just going to take that way to the side. Um, OK, first first design. Let's um, let's do the, the basic hyperlinks uh, symbol. So if I were to go to Google, and I want to search up um, you know, hyperlink symbol, and uh, you probably have seen this before, this little symbol here. Um, it's pretty, pretty tried and true uh, symbol there, and there's a lot of different uh, variations on it. But the idea is it's, just a, it's a two chains that are linking. It's a link, right? So we're going to create our own little link here, because um, once again, we want to make sure that we are aware of all of the various, um, shall we say, um, you know, the the um, uh, providence of all of our stuff. We don't want to just take things from the internet. So we'll create a little rectangle here and we'll just go ahead and just round it out all the way to this little rounded rectangle. Um, and uh, from there, once again, we're going to go to object path, offset path. In this case, let's take a look here. 20, how about 50? In this case, my um, uh, rectangle is about 500 pixels high, and so in this case, I'm going to try maybe one tenth of its size here. So let's try this. That's good. It's okay. And uh, we'll just take this and we'll just minus the front. And we'll uh, kind of alt drag and we'll just drag this up into the side a little bit. And you can see a little 45 degree angle there. Um, okay, so with this done right here, we have um, both of these. This one's on top, so I'll just start with this one here. I'll just go to object, path, offset path. I want to say at this point it might be uh, visible on your little quick actions down here, but it might not be so. Um, and I'll expand this by, say, for instance, 10 pixels. And I'll press OK. And then from there, I'll just grab this guy and I'll just delete that. Um, OK, so we want to make sure it seems as if it's sort of linking. So we want to cover up one of these uh, these here, um, uh, these here uh, holes in this this fence here, in this, <laughs> this chain here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this whole one here, and I'll just... Uh, center it on top of this chain here and then from there what I can do is I can simply just draw a little rectangle over it in some form or fashion and I'll just uh, I'll just do the little um, uh, intersect there. So before I go any further, before I link all this together, I'm going to grab this guy here then I'm going to expand this guy, this little uh, piece that's left over, object, path, 
offset path, see it right there. And uh, I'll offset this by 10 pixels. And then we'll just uh, minus front from the chain that's there. All right, cool. So we have our little links to our chain. And then we can um, just unify the whole thing. And we can even sort of turn this, like, say, for instance, at like a 45 degree angle. And there we go. We've got our hyperlink uh, icon there. Um, so uh, to goodness, <laughs> to uh, uh, kind of take this a step further, what we'll do now is we'll just alt drag our little batch here, and we'll just sort of shrink this down some. And uh, there we go. We can just send these together, and we'll just minus front. Oops. No, what we got to do once again, we got to make sure that we are operating with uh, just the one big circle here so we can use the direct select tool here. Hold down shift, click on that, and then we can minus front. And now I've got it. Fantastic. Okay, so I'll put this to the side as well. Let's unify this whole thing. And now we've got it. Great. Okay, so uh, let's continue on. Um, say, for instance, we want, so here, here we go. We've got, you know, web services. So we have this little hyperlink. Here's our web services here. You know, we, we can do internet and various other things. Let's do something, say, for instance, that uh, denotes that we are going to help them have a global reach. You know, we'll have an international reach. Let's make a little globe here. Um, globes are a pretty um, uh, easy sort of thing to, to see here. So we'll make a circle, and uh, we'll just make a couple copies of this. And I'm going to actually make this... Um, I should have one copy here. I'm making this a good deal bigger because I want this to be sort of the longitudinal lines uh, that are forming here. So I'm going to go ahead and just actually take the stroke, the fill off. I'm going to add a stroke. And I'll add the stroke. I'll hit it be red. And um, let's see. Let me think. Just given the size of this circle here, I'm going to move this a little bit off center. I'm looking for this curve here to be kind of off center here. Uh, I'm going to have this be, say, for instance, 20 pixels sounds good. I think 20 pixels is good. All right, 20, in this case, it says 20 points, um, which is uh, fine. So I'll just keep that in mind. I'll just um, this over here, and we can just grab these two together. And um, what we'll do before we go any further here is we can just pull all this, and then um, we can actually um, go to object. Make sure you go to object path outline stroke here and so in this case they're all now a fill like of a ringed fill here without having to go through all the rigmarole of creating two gigantic circles and then uh, measuring all that out and then um, we can just uh, unite these and then we'll center these together so now we have them sort of even and um, I'm just going to deselect that select my little rings here right click on them and go to transform and rotate and I'll just rotate them 90 degrees and I'll go ahead and copy that. So now we have sort of the longitudinal lines and we have the latitudinal lines. And you can add either a meridian or an equator if you like. So for instance, this is, um, these were 20 points thick, I want to say. So I'll just make this little rectangle here. And I'm going to make sure that it is 20. And I'll make sure I have the same um, unit of measurement, 20 points. Oops, that was width. My mistake. 20 points. All right, and there's that. So I have this sitting here. I want to say I have this set to be, yeah, I think too. So there's that again. Let me just, I'll just sort of drag this here into the center. Like so. Okay, that's good. And we'll just select all of this and we'll just minus rent. Right, so now we have this little uh, globe that's here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take a look at this. This right here, it says that this is um, 633.655 pixels high. I'm just going to round that down and say 600 pixels high. And I'll make sure this is kept locked here. Actually, yeah. All right, so 600 by 600. And uh, check this. We'll get there somewhere. All right. Even though, you, yes, of course, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Labello, the Earth is not a perfect, you know, circle. It's an oblate spheroid, but, yeah, okay, you know, fine. Anyways, so that's 600 by 600. I'll get my ellipse tool. I'll just click once, and I'll make a 600 by 600 circle here. And um, I'll just take this, and I'll create sort of a little, uh, maybe like a little marker, like you see like on a map or something like that, right? So, for instance, we could go to object. We can go to, X, uh, so we'll go to path, go to offset path. And we'll make this bigger by say for instance we can make we'll do the same thing we can do like 30 maybe 20 pixels or so let's see how much bigger that is all right maybe 
Yeah, 20 pixels. Uh, that's good. And then what we'll do here is we'll take this outer circle. What they end up doing is sort of nesting them to where like the top. So for instance, this one right here, I can make this red. So the smaller circle or orange or whatever. So the smaller circle is still there and I can just grab this outer circle. If I can be executive with my mouse. Let's grab this guy here. And I'll go to object path, offset path. And I'll offset it by say for instance, 40 pixels here, or maybe just 20. Yeah, 40 is good. Right. Try one more time. Don't push cancel this time. Make sure you press OK. <laughs> Offset path. And we'll do 40. Press OK. Okay, so for this one right here, we could just uh, grab all this and we can just do our little exclude. And so now we have this thing hanging out here. And the reason why I kept this guy, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. I'm going to keep this guy hanging out here in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and go uh, to my little polygon tool. I'm going to click once and make sure it has three sides. And I'm going to grab this little triangle. I'm going to flip it over onto its side so the point is pointed down. Actually, this really doesn't matter, but because, you know, I am oriented to having the bottom be sort of the end, I'm going to have this be on the ground on the bottom here. I'll just sort of draw this out some, maybe expand it out a little bit, and we'll just sort of center these. So that's there. And uh, from there, I could probably even, I think that's probably good. I, I, might, I might just go down here, my direct select tool, and just click once on this circular widget that's down there, and just pull this up a little bit, just to make it a little less of a harsh angle there. I'll go ahead and um, click on this one in the center, and what we'll do is we'll just click on this little circle, click once again on this globe, click again to make this the key object, and center this, and then I can just get rid of this guy. And then from there, I can sort of unite all this, and we can even center these together. So first off, first off what I'll do is I'll just actually take this and I'll just sort of turn it once again 45 degrees. Angles are fun, dynamic, dynamic angles. Uh, and from there, I'll just pop this right in here in the center. Maybe it's a smidge smaller. And we'll center these guys. And I'll make this front. Oops, once again, gotta make sure we are looking at this the right way. Hold down with the A on the keyboard, with your direct select tool selected, hold down shift, grab the other inner circle there, and then we'll minus front. There you go, cool. All right, so now we have a little global reach, a little globe here uh, that uh, will kind of give our uh, clients the idea that they're going to be, you know, reaching reaching around the world. Right, that's, that's fine. Okay, cool. Last thing we can do is we can talk about maybe connections. I think it would be kind of fun to have two hands shaking. This is going to be a little more complicated than the other ones. It's going to involve a few moving parts here. Let's go ahead and grab our rectangle tool, and let's... Um, draw a series of rectangles here. I'm going to draw one rectangle. And um, what we're doing is we're, this is the fingers that are wrapping around the hand. So you notice whenever you have someone's handshake, your hands are wrapping around the back of their hand, uh, your fingers are. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make this a rounded rectangle. Just pull this down like this. And what we'll do is we'll just alter this out a little bit here, do a little space between the knuckles, and then control D a couple times. We have four fingers showing through, and we'll make the, this will be the pinky finger, this will be the ring finger, we'll make this a little bit taller. Oops. All right, this will be the middle finger, we'll make this a little bit taller, and this will be the index finger, this will be about the same height as the ring finger, so this will be good right here. And we'll just take all this and we'll sort of, I want to say we can actually transform and maybe skew this whole thing, show this whole thing, say for instance, uh, a little bit this way, not so much, not so much. Actually, you know what, cancel that. What we'll do is this, we'll just get our direct select tool, and we'll just select all these anchor points that are on the top here, and we'll just sort of drag them this way a little bit. Hold on, shift while I drag them. Oops, make sure we select everything. We'll sort of shoot slightly this way. That's nice. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, they look a little wonky. Well, we, you know, we'll leave them there for now. Okay, let's go ahead and just uh, unite these guys. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll address the sort of slant of the fingers in a second here. And let's um, go over here and let's find a... Hmm, let's create a... Um, let's create a... Uh, say for instance, a thumb. Or maybe we'll just we'll just create the hand that's wrapping around here. So let's go ahead and create the hand that's, that's wrapping around. So I'm going to create... Um, another series of, um, of these, actually, I'll just duplicate these right here, and I'll just turn them over on their side, and we can just sort of expand this, this direction. No, no, we won't, we won't do that, we won't do that. We'll actually get our direct select tool and select everything on the inside here, and we'll drag these this way. Hold on, let's shift key while you drag them. 
So they don't go much further. Okay, so that's that's nice. So those are the fingers that are sort of like wrapping around, um, sort of well, the end of the knuckle. And uh, we could even we could even just arrange them to where they sort of fall, almost like uh, in a series of uh, like for instance, this is the hand kind of wrapping around the hand here. So um, with that done, what we do is we can just get our direct our um, our rectangle tool and draw a little rectangle here. I want to say if I were to like, for instance, select all these, I could see that this is uh, 672 pixels high. So I can click off with M on the keyboard, or rather 509 pixels high. Uh, M on the keyboard, I can just click once and do 509. And I can do 509 here. So it's this little square and I can just direct this up to here. Now, um, sometimes you get to where you are trying to match these up and you're trying to get them to sort of match up exactly that's about right um if it ever occurs that you can't quite match them up exactly then um you can always try um going to view and unchecking snap to pixel so that will sometimes help it uh, match up a little bit better um okay so that's probably good i'll just unite all this and i'll um pull this down here let me actually turn this red red Right. And uh, I'll control shift and square bracket to drop it out of the bottom. And let's just drag this little guy up here some. Just gonna put that there. And then we'll um we'll have these guys gonna I might even turn these slightly just, just a little bit to make it seem as if it's more of an angle. And uh, we'll just select both of these. Actually, let me just grab this guy, go to object path, offset path, preview, and then we'll just do maybe 10 pixels instead. All right, that's good. And then with this right here, the bigger layer selected. Nice front. Oops. Show over time here. Object, path, opposite path, 10 pixels. Select, minus front. Very cool. All right, neat. All right, so that's that. Um, and then let's uh, add the thumb here. So once again, we're trying to avoid using the pen tool. So instead of drawing the thumb, I'm just gonna draw like a, a short um, thumb here. It'll be kind of hanging out that way. Let me change this blue just so I know what I'm looking at here. And I'll, uh, I'll just grab this guy and um, grab my direct select tool. I'll just grab these two points down here and I'll pull this in. And we can build the hand around this. Before we do anything else, though, let's go ahead and alt, uh, uh, offset this. We're going to um, object path, offset path, 10 pixels. And we'll just, uh, using the, the direct select tool, A on the keyboard, hold down shift, grab the hand, and then minus front. And the reason why we wanted to hold down, use the direct select tool is because we would have uh, grabbed both this and this disembodied little you know knuckle down here, which would have deleted the whole hand uh, if we weren't careful here. So there's that. And let's uh, see if we can't create a rectangle here. I'm gonna actually draw this rectangle very close to the hand here. And I'm gonna sample this uh, blue for now. And uh, I'm gonna go over here to my Y position for this. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say um, 945.5 plus over here 10, which, oh, no, minus 10. Minus 10, which is gonna raise it up 10 pixels off, and so that'll give us our, our, our correct ratio uh, to keep the little thing going. And um, we'll do this here. Let me just grab this guy right here and just sort of turn this hole. Uh, what I've done is I've selected one corner of this rectangle here. I've just grabbed this one widget. I'm gonna curve that down to give it like the sort of curve of the thumb here. And then I can actually just grab this and sort of yank this upwards. No, yeah, no. Yeah. That's really good. I'm not sure if I'm really feeling all this. It's okay. It's okay. Well, we could even we could even drag this down some and try it one more time. Object path opposite path ten. A on the keyboard. Click here. Minus front. There we go. That's nice. Okay, good. Um, all right. So let's uh, finish up by adding, uh, say, for instance. Um, a wrist over here. So I'm going to grab this guy here. I'm going to put A on the keyboard. Just click these two anchor points here. I'm just going to drag these guys this way slightly. And I'll just click once on this corner and just drag this corner down to create this hand here. I'll do the same thing here. I'll just grab this corner down some. And we can even add like a little uh, sleeve cuff. Well, I could even just grab these guys here. Actually, I'll just grab these two guys. No, I'll add another rectangle. I'll just put a little rectangle right here. And I'll just Point it up towards the top of this. 
towards where this curve ends. Let me get this little anchor point visible here. There's that. And I can just sort of drag this down via the keyboard to meet that. That's good. Okay, cool. And uh, we'll just unite this. And uh, we can add another rectangle kind of hanging out here just to give it the sleeve. Let's actually put it right up against it. And then we'll just do, we'll go to our X value. Once again, try to put this as close to the top as I can. It's okay if it goes down a little bit because it's like the sleeve is hanging down. You know, when you're shaking your hands, your sleeve kind of falls down. And we'll just go over to our X value here and we will minus 10. Good, okay, cool. And we'll do the same thing up here. We'll um, add a little wrist. And we'll uh, unite this. And then we'll add a little cuff to the sleeve over here. So once again, we'll get real close to this. And we'll come out some. And then we'll go over to our Y here and we will minus 10. All right, cool. All right, fun. All right, so let's uh, select all this together. Let's uh, unite all this. I'm gonna change it not, not red anymore. I'll change it to sort of like dark blue for now. And uh, right, we'll just uh, rotate all this onto its side. And we got a little uh, handshake here. I, I think I could probably pull these fingers in some. So I'm gonna just uh, grab my direct select tool and just sort of select these points here. I drag them in a little bit. Try to follow this line as best I can. And we'll just do the same thing here. Select these three points and drag these guys in. Oh, hello, missing one. Let me get real close. I'll just uh, make these points here. There's probably a hidden anchor point there. I'm trying to get this as close as I can to where this goes. Down some. That's good. Cool. Awesome. I like that a lot. All right, fun. So once again, this is all united. I want to say. And uh, whoa, we we uh, okay. But it's okay if 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 you if you uh, were following along and Mr. Lobo did a noopsie here uh, and you didn't uh, get the entire, uh, you didn't leave an extra copy of this. That's fine. You can just get an extra copy of this and just real fast, just draw a quick rectangle on top of everything. Um, make sure it covers everything here. All right, that's good. I'll just uh, grab all this and I'll just unite all this. Okay, now we've got our solid uh, circle back. Fantastic, okay. So with this done, let's just shrink this down a little bit. Alt and Shift is keeping it centered and constrained at the same time. And we'll just center these. And we'll just do exclude. All right, great, cool, cool. We have our little ha uh, shaking hands. So let's, um, let's put them all together here. Let's just uh, one by one. Get all this, let's unite this here. Make sure that's nice and grouped. Put this over here. Let's say get them all lined up in a nice little row. I'll shrink them down a little bit. Let's align them. Oops, let's align them like so. And let's uh, space them out. So under a line, if you hit these little dots, you'll get the distribute here. Just distribute the horizontal distribute spacing there. And then we can just put the whole thing. We can actually even control G, group all that together, and then um, align it to the center. Oops. No. Something happened here. Go cool. one more time. What is all this? Be gone. Let's see. I'll shrink this down and center these and distribute these. And I'll just try my best to center them into the airport. Very fun. Okay, once again, we go to File, Export, Export for Screens, and we have our three little icons here that we can use to sort of like navigate our services or, do, or advertise our services. This is a lot of fun. I think, I think these are neat little neat little badges here showing us uh, you know what services we offer. So right, this is, once again, we're, we're using our Sheepable tool just to create some actual defined objects that are complex in nature, but are all built from very simple objects. Very neat. Okay, cool. And so they, and because they're built from these simple objects, they look very clean, they look very crisp, and they look very professional. Awesome stuff. Cannot wait to see, see you guys produce. See you in class.